hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to fix the easy anti-cheat is not installed error in sea of thieves now if you are running into this issue and the game won't launch don't worry because we've got a few quick fixes that should get you back on the seas let's begin now, one of the most common way to fix this issue is dependent on the game launcher that you are using. Now, in my case, I am using Steam, but if you are using the game via the Xbox app or Game Pass, you can go to the platform itself and verify the integrity of the game files. So, now another option that you can try, it's not popular, but you can go to the Steam go to the installed files and there is an option here that says verify integrity of game files if you do it may take some time but commonly it fixes all the errors here in steam particularly in sea of thieves all right and then try to restart your pc and try relaunching the sea of thieves on your computer update your drivers and windows make sure your gpu drivers are updated if you're using nvidia you might want to open the nvidia ge force experience or the AMD Adrenaline because an outdated driver can cause easy anti-cheat to fail. Another option is you might want to go to the systems of security. Okay, so go to the updated security, go to the Windows update and similar to the GPU drivers, make sure your Windows updates are installed. All I have to do is click the check for updates and that could potentially fix the problem. Now, if nothing works, now another option that you can do is navigate to your watchdog's installation folder right so open the easy anti-cheat folder so in my case i'm gonna go to steam apps i'm gonna click the common i'm gonna click the game and click the watchdogs too and then go to the easy anti-cheat folder and then from here you have the option to click the repair or uninstall and reinstall or of course you can also run as administrator because this ensures the anti-cheat system is properly configured and try to restart your PC to see if that works or now while at it I want you to right click again on it and there should be an option that says properties and then go to the compatibility section and then you need to click the run compatibility troubleshooter all right, because as you may notice, if this program isn't working correctly on the version of Windows, try running the compatibility troubleshooter to see if that works. Now, I want you to pay attention because you need to click this section right here that says run this program in compatibility mode for all these windows. You have Windows 8 until 10 or 11. And, and then you have the ability to run this as administrator. You want to make sure to check that option or check that option and click the apply and OK. Another option that you can do is go to the services on your windows, right? And as you may notice, you have the services here. I want you to look for the Epic Games or Epic Online Services. You need to do the same thing that we have done earlier. Right click on it, go to the properties, and you want to make sure on the startup, you click the automatic delayed startup or automatic, all right? And then click the service starts click the apply and click on ok you can also go to the easy anti-cheat official website and try to reinstall and uninstall the program all right so that's up to you hopefully one of these steps work and now after restarting and if it still doesn't work you can also try visiting the official sea of thieves discord server to check with the community if they've encountered the same problems and hopefully get some helpful answers and not only that you can also try visiting the official sea of thieves support page to check for solutions and hopefully they'll provide you with the answers that you need and basically that's it for today's video and one of these methods should fix the easy anti-cheat is not installed error in sea of thieves if this video helped you out make sure to hit the like button subscribe for more quick fixes and let us know in the comments if you are still running into issues or you might find another tool that could potentially fix the problem because 
would love to hear from you. And as always, I thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next video.